Hey guys, it's Sheree from Fire and Dwellers. Happy Mother's Day. You know, today we wanted to just encourage you and hop on here and talk about Mother's Day, but we also wanted to encourage you to keep your eyes on Jesus. No matter what is going on in our world, no matter how much is happening, whether it be Mother's Day, whether it be being busy during the week, no matter what is going on in the news, <coughs> excuse me, we need to keep our mind and our eyes on Jesus. When we do that, he strengthens us. When we do that, we are able to keep focused on why we are here, why we are saved, and why we are in the family of God. Sometimes we can start to get on a purpose or get on a mission or or even going to work, you know, and it can take our focus. And before you know it, we're burdened, we're worried, we're, we're, we're held down with all these different things in our life. And our mind and our hearts and everything aren't in peace anymore because we've taken our eyes off Jesus. So today I just wanted to encourage you, spend that time with Jesus, keep your eyes on him, worship him, pray to him and think about him. And when we do, we will experience steadfast peace. We will experience encouragement. We will be filled with his spirit and his strength because let's get real to go around on this earth and to continue in our purpose and continue in God's plan. We need his strength. We need his spirit to do it. And we need to keep our eyes focused on him him. So we pray, Lord Father, that you would just help people, Lord, help them to have some time with you, help them to keep their eyes on you, whether it be in the car and putting on some worship music before they go to work or on the bus and putting that worship music in their ears, Lord Father, where they can just draw on you, draw on your strength and draw on your spirit so they continue to do what you are calling them to do. Amen. Good morning and blessings to all the wonderful mothers in the whole world out there. And I just wanted to bring this message to you today from the Holy Spirit, being that it's on this special day, Mother's Day. As a mother, um, you would know a mother's love, how much you love your children. And that is how much God loves you. And I wanted to read to you from his holy word, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. God gave his only, his one and only son for you. And as mothers, I could appreciate that you would feel even a small fraction, just a small fraction of what that may feel. So I wanted to invite you today, if you haven't already, to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour, so that you shall not perish but have eternal life with the Father forever. And if you would like to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your eternal saviour, I ask you to bow, this head, bow your head and pray this prayer with me. Lord Father, I believe that you sent your one and only son to the world to save me. Through your son, I will not perish, but I will have eternal life with you. And today, Father, I accept and receive your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into my heart and into my life. Change me, transform me, baptize me with your Holy Spirit and fire, Lord, so that I may Follow you always. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Forgive me of all my past sins, Lord, and lead me in the way everlasting. Bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we also ask today, Lord, that you would baptize these newly found believers in your Holy Spirit that you promised and fire. In the word it says, John said, there is one who comes mightier than me, whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. And he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And I thank you, Father, today I ask for this precious gift of the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire to come onto your servants in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for holding them tight, protecting them and leading them in the way everlasting. Thank you, Jesus. If you've just prayed that prayer, 
I want to welcome you into the family of God. God says when we receive Jesus into our lives, we become a family and we are becoming brothers and sisters in Christ. So I want to welcome you today to the family of God. We are together and we are supporting each other and encouraging each other. And the angels are celebrating today in heaven because you have received God's son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for sending your son for all of us. Those that choose that want to come, we thank you and we glorify your name, Lord Jesus. You have called those people today. You've granted them the gift of salvation. We can do nothing apart from apart from Christ and we can't boast in even our own salvation God you have been drawing these people so today you were drawn by the Father Almighty God into the family of God that's exciting and we thank you Father for what you're doing in these people's lives thank you Jesus if you need to have any questions or prayers please contact us on Farah and Della's TikTok and family of God we are here to support you love you guys bye